finally the second chamber is in place. Uh, this is the outer, cha uh, outer chamber. So this is the combustion chamber and this is the, uh, the cooling chamber. And in between here you have those uh, spirals that go around the engine where you flow ethanol around it to sh kill shield it down. So now when the outer chamber is in place and the ring over here is in place, it's time to weld all of it together. Okay, so what you have seen me doing today is I added the second uh, the, or the upper top of the outer jacket, uh, the cooling jacket. So this is the one I did off camera and this is the one I did here. So I added this and as you saw in the video, it takes quite a lot of time and uh, a lot of fiddling with the uh, tools to get it right. And uh, yeah, and I also added, oh, you can't see that, sorry. Mm. This ring over here, this is the, fuel manifold for the injector. I have done it wider because the, to get some more fluid into the injector so we don't have any cavitation or bubbles actually inside the fuel. That would be really bad for this engine. It would probably explode. And I can show you what I did off camera. So I will take the camera off the tripod and go handheld. Hold on a second. I'm sorry for the great look at my crunch, but I love you guys, but not that much. Okay, so we start at the bottom of the nozzle. Uh, this is the fuel mainfold ring. Uh, it's not finished. It's gonna be a wall up here and another ring on the top. And uh, that's actually where the fuel comes in, into the engine. So we're gonna have a pipe going up here and going up to the valve system. And as you can see, we have an, another outer jacket over here. So there is a small gap over here uh, that's going into the cooling uh, channels. And if we go further up, you can see the uh, cooling or the film cooling channel. So the fuel comes, some part of the fuel comes in through this pipe, go around the chamber and entering the combustion chamber itself in small holes around uh, this uh, throat and that creates a film that goes alongside the wall on the inside of the combustion chamber and that brings a lot of heat from the engine so uh, that's a secondary cooling so that will wrap it up for this video and in the next one i will go more in depth of how this type of engine works uh, with all the fuel manifolds and cooling and the combustion and in everything regarding this engine itself but until that, have a great one.